War Room, Gwinnett County, the people's voice, keeping you informed. War Room, Gwinnett County, the people's voice. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to War Room, Gwinnett County. I'm your host, Antonio Jones. Um, it is 1229, 2022. Happy holidays to everybody. Hope you had a great Christmas. Looking forward to the new year in 2023. I wanted to come on here today uh, to talk about a couple of things. Uh, one was there was a huge gubernatorial race out in Arizona between Katie Hobbs and um, Carrie Lake. So, of course, we know that Katie Hobbs ended up prevailing. We won't say winning the election. Um, I wanted to report this because it's very important how our election systems are run, you know, even right here in Georgia and the integrity of them. So just to give a little backstory for people that may have not been keeping up with it. So Katie Hobbs was the former secretary of state out in Arizona. So um, quite frankly, I thought that she should have recused herself from um, running the election since she was um, in competition with someone else for governor. So they allowed her, her to run the election. And uh, to make a long story short, there were all kind of complications for people voting on the actual um, day of voting because the messaging was coming from the Republican side to encourage people to come out and turn out on the day of. Um, they just thought that they, their vote would be a bit more secure. So ironically enough, they had a significant amount of machine failure and um, the ways the ballots was printed out going on. But anyway, uh, Carrie Lake challenged it and ended up um, the, the judge. I, I think that I really think no judge in the country has had the stones to uh, adjudicate on the merits. This judge out in Arizona only allowed in two, I think of the 10 things that they were complaining about and he picked the two most difficult things to prove in court. Um, uh, but anyway, um, the elections is a very serious part of who we have in our offices. And um, I believe that the election process is under attack and it's been under attack for quite some time now. We see a lot of things that are going on here in our country, all over the country, especially particularly in our school systems. I always go back to that because our children are the seeds of tomorrow. So if, if we see all this um, LG, um, you know what, all up through the military and stuff from the highest levels of government, I would think that they would be interested in getting this stuff into our schools as well in any way that they can. So how do they get these things in there? Of course, you might have guessed it. Elections. So um, Garland Favorito does a great job with voter GA here in Georgia. He had a lot of um, data that he was trying to present that he presented to the legislature down here. And I don't believe the legislature did enough um, because they went on and wrote SB, whatever it is. Um, but anyway, they, they signed a Senate bill to codify these machines all the way up until 2030, even after all the concerns that everybody had. And that, that just seems kind of fishy to me. So uh, why would they do that? But anyway, um, a judge, let's, let, me, let, let me pull this up and go through this article. So it's, this article is uh, from the conservative brief. It says, Carrie Lake celebrates the judge, a Georgia judge ordering a new election. So let's read through this and uh, see what's going on. So former Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake celebrated a recent ruling from a judge in Georgia who ordered a new election after officials identify a number of systematic irregularities that potentially impacted the result. The case involved a rural county commission race in Scriven County, where several candidates filed a lawsuit alleging incorrect ballots were issued at at least two dozen voters potentially altering the outcome of a county commission race decided by just seven votes. The Georgia Virtue reported to Newsweek. Several voters, it was found, it was later found, had been assigned ballots to districts they did not live in, meaning voters of a certain district were effectively disenfranchised from the vote in their home district, districts. An argument that Lake made 
after up to 1,000 Arizona voters were provided with no with incorrect ballots in early voting in the fall. The judge ultimately ordered a new election in Scriven County, something Lake has been pushing for in Arizona after alleging and failing to prove instances of rampant fraud and irregularities in her own election, the outlet added. So what, what I want to say about that is if they were so sure even about the election, uh, shout out to that judge here in Screven County here in Georgia for allowing a new election to be ordered based on the claims and more and quite frankly, the evidence that was presented by the concerned voters um, out in um, Arizona. They didn't give her they, they struck about eight things that she was trying to get done. Why would you want to since you're already in the process? Why wouldn't they let her inspect the signatures? If the signatures are right, you know, it, it shouldn't be an issue. Right. So these are some of the things that same things that happened in Georgia. We heard about the pipe busting and um, the illegal ballots and that were caught on camera and um, all the video from the Mules video, uh, the documentary that came out showing using geo tracking, the same technology that they used to nab the quote unquote January 6th. Uh, rioters, basically, they call them insurrectionists, but we know there there was just a riot there. Was no insurrection going on, but uh, they used the same technology in that particular movie, and it, it wasn't enough for our legislature to look into these machines and allow allow a real audit. So, if the state legislatures have the plenary power to decide the manner in which elections are conducted. Why wouldn't they go the extra step to make sure that these election systems are really secure? That's not what they did, uh, in in my opinion, from what I saw. Um, they would have went back and audited the 2020 situation, but um, I'm I'm kind of going off, but off uh, sk uh, script right now. But the local election is really where the fight is. And this is why I wanted to do this video on War Room Gwinnett County, the local election, the integrity of the local election. So we need to support people right here in Georgia, like Garland Favorito, who has put a lot into it. You know, maybe hopefully we can get him on the show to come on here and talk about some of the things that he's been doing in Georgia with the data that he's amassed to prove that these elections are not secure. And, um, you know, the machines and, and different information that he has um, at his fingertips proving these things. So I, I don't I don't believe in the integrity of these local elections that we've had. You know, the the, the school boards, um, you know, the commission, all these races. And we've got a couple of people in there. But I, I just believe that's a that's a sleight of hand to say, hey, let's let's let them get a couple of victories so that they feel like this is real. We, we can't totally sweep this thing. Then it's going to raise uh, suspicion. But um, we got to keep our eyes on the on these elections and the integrity of these elections, because when it comes to certain people in high places, they'll do anything to get their agenda implemented. So how do you do that? The fight is on the on the local level. You know, national elections get a whole lot of attention, but. The local level is really where it's at. So we got to focus in on that, get locked in and find out if it's anything that we can do um, as citizens to support organizations like Voter GA. You know, do we need to do more donations? Do they need more volunteers to come out and help them with some of the things that they have to do to investigate certain things? So make sure you go and like that uh, organization that's Voter GA. Shout out to Gar Garland Favorito and his whole team. I would appreciate the things that you're doing, but we got to keep our eyes focused on these elections, this election process as well. And we need to start asking the question to our, our legislature. You know, what what did we do to look into these machines? Um, there was a gentleman, I watched one of the hearings, and um, one of his team members was able to get inside of the election system Hacking to it while they was at the um, at the meeting, you know, having the uh, hearing at, at the legislature. And he was like, yep, one of, one of our guys are in. 
He got into the system. That can't be secure. But the bigger question is, why did we codify these machines in Georgia to 2030? That's a year that sounds really familiar to a lot of other things that are lining up. Why to 2030? If the people had such a concern with these elections. I, I, it's my belief, in my opinion, that these local elections, you know, um, they're corrupted. You know, I, I really believe that they're corrupted, but that's my opinion. What's your opinion on this and the concern for this? Make sure you leave that in the comments, like, share and subscribe. And um, make sure you stay in tune and engaged with War Room Gwinnett County. War Room, Gwinnett County, the people's voice, keeping you informed. War Room, Gwinnett County, the people's voice.